Okay, well, I'm in the middle of recording this course right now, and we're uh, teaching a little bit about how to make this uh, zombie wave game. Actually, not a little bit. We're teaching the entire thing, and this will end up being a nice little template for any number of different uh, wave attack games you can think of. And uh, we've come to a point where I need to actually save out some images that were originally sized up for the iPad, which are in this folder called Resize These, and you can see that... Uh, these guys are a lot bigger than the uh, images you're seeing in the simulator right now. So the ones from the simulator have already been shrunken down, but that's what we're going to talk about is some easy ways to um, handle doing that. And uh, the, the main issue here is that um, when uh, since we're working with uh, Cocos 2D and Xcode, uh, we will have different sets of images for different sizes. So uh, our ones labeled dash iPad.png will run on the iPad. The ones dash labeled dash HD.png are gonna be for the retina display iPhones. And then these ones without anything will just be for the uh, older non-retina display phones. So you've really gotta keep three separate um, sets of images for um, for one single image. And uh, it's obviously gonna be best to work with your biggest file size first. Okay, so you're one for the iPad. That's why I did all my illustration uh, iPad size so I knew I could shrink it down to what roughly ends up being about 85 or 84% for the retina display ones and then half of that for the, um, the non-retina display ones. So let's talk about image processing then. And by the way, this is uh, really painful if uh, you do need to go through hundreds of images because at first what I was doing is going over here to tools, adjust size, I had percent, so I'd go 84%, shrink it down so that was gonna be my HD one, and then I'd go again, adjust size, 50%, save it out again for that other one. That takes a long time, so then I figured, you know what, this is silly, I just need to batch process these. And uh, Photoshop is an amazingly powerful tool, and it, it can also be just used as a simple uh, renaming or resizing application. So let's go ahead and uh, bring that up, and I'll just work with these uh, seven, seven images right now. All right, so go get uh, the Actions window open in Photoshop, and we're going to go create a new set. So go over here to, actually, this folder right here, and let's call this Lesson on Image Processing. Click on OK. And before I create this new action, which is going to be down here, I do want to um, go ahead and open up the file that I'm going to be working with. And typically what I will do is uh, just duplicate out a dummy folder, a file, okay, so just a single file to be messing around with. That way, uh, when I do my actions, which are uh, just opening it, resizing it, saving it, and closing it again, it can perform all those on this fi file that I can just throw away. Um, and then that way, when I do my batch process, I can go ahead and pick out just the folder that I had before and run through all the um, pristine, unchanged images. And that's a hard lesson I've learned because <laughs> a lot of times what I would do is take the first image, shrink that one down, do all the batch, do everything that I want to do to all the rest of the images. Then I'd go and forget that this one had already been shrunk down. I'd select the folder to do everything again. And then this image would end up being half the size of all the other ones to follow. So hopefully that makes sense. Just go ahead and duplicate it. Just follow along with me here. So we're going to get this one open. And this is our little test case. So let's now go over here to create new action. And we'll call this shrink by 84%. Click on record. And where I'm getting that 84% uh, is the uh, the screen size of the HD or the retina display of the iPhone is, is about 84% the size of that of the iPad. Okay, so if this is an iPad size one, I wanna shrink it down by 84%. All right, so now I just need to go over here to image size, and I'm going to switch this to percent. Let's just go press in 84, and you'll see that if I were to unfold the action that got recorded here, it's showing me details on this. It says, well, the width is going to be 84%. All right, that's great. Now what I'm going to do is save it and just close it. I think the important I think it's important actually to close your files when you're recording these. Otherwise, if you have like a hundred files that you're gonna batch process, all one hundred of them stay open after the recording gets done. And it just slows things down. So uh, then I just hit stop. Alright, I'm done with that. Now 
I, I do say the renaming for a um, for a different action, and uh, hopefully I can explain in a way that makes sense later why well, I do that. But uh, now let's go ahead and mess around with um, these images. So you might be saying, hey, go ahead and run through that right now. Well, don't forget, in many cases, you might want to save your original file sizes. So what I'm going to do is just option copy out this folder and I'm going to say resize to 84%. Okay, so now I'll pick on that folder. So go over here to automate batch. And it's already picked out the, uh, the set that I created last. And it's already picked out the action, shrink by 84%. So now I just need to pick out the folder. So go over here to my desktop. And there it is. All right, so resize to 84%. There they all are. Click on choose, and I'm just going to click that off for right now. So go over here and then just say OK. And look at that. It's magic, isn't it? It's a machine working for me. And we're almost done right now. OK, so go check with these guys. That looks like 84% to me. It's still a PNG file. It's got that transparency in it. Perfect. Okay, now, obviously it's not been renamed, but that's okay. We'll do that in a little bit. Let's do the same thing now for the uh, just regular non-retina display iPhone sizes. So resize to 50%. So I'll just put 50 in there. And remember, your uh, retina display um, sizes do need to be, or they should be, exactly double what your um, non-retina display ones are, okay? You got a little bit more flexibility between your iPad sizes and your HD ones, okay? I, again, I'm using 84% because that's roughly what the screen size difference is. Um, in, in the games that I've been making, they don't actually have to be exactly 84%. There's no real mathematical necessity for that. So, But for these ones, these do need to be 50% of the size of the HD ones. Okay, so now let's go back over here to Photoshop and let's really quickly create a new action. So I'll just click this. And oh, let's, I gotta use my dummy again. So let's get this guy open. And new action, shrink to 50. Click on record. Now all I have to do image size 50% and save it. Close it. And we are out of here. So let's go ahead and automate. Okay, choose them, and let's do it. All right, those are done. Now let's go ahead and handle the renaming. Once again, let's pick on a little dummy file here, and let's go ahead and just create a brand new action called rename. Record. Okay, this guy's already open. All we need to do is go over here and click on Save As. It actually doesn't matter what we save it as. Just click on OK. And then close it out. Okay, we can hit Stop Record now. And uh, I think it's good to have this as a separate action entirely because um, this way you can um, go over here to Automate, Batch, and only worry about what the file extension is going to be or whatever the uh, the addition of the name is because we're not doing anything else like shrinking it or, or whatever now this becomes just strictly uh, renaming so let's see let's go over here to choose and let's find those uh, files again oh actually there we go desktop and let's get our 
original folder out here. Okay, so these are actually the iPad size ones. So click on choose. So that's what we're pulling from. Uh, then uh, what we want to do is pick out a destination folder. So just go over here to choose again. I need to unfold. It's much easier to find. Oh, there it is. Click on new folder, and these will be um, iPad size. Click on create. And you know what? While I'm in here, let's just go ahead and HD size. Okay. Got both those ready. Go back, click on the iPad one. Click choose. And we'll just make that iPad. And here we go. All right, I think we are done with that. And I'm gonna open up this folder on my desktop. Here it is, and sure enough, just some good old iPad sizes. And let's do the same thing. around we want to go back and find our ones that are resized at 84 percent click on choose these ones become HD and we are just about out of here actually we really are that's all, all you have to do and now our resized ones here these guys are our original file names Okay, so they're down to the non-retina display sizes. Then we've got our iPad size ones over this way, and then somewhere on our desktop here, we've got our HD size ones. There we go. Oh, you know what? I must have made a mistake somewhere in there. Oh, yeah, I did. Well, I just saved them out to the wrong folder. I, I forgot to change the location to iPad. But anyway, they can all be uh, co-populating for right now. Nobody got overwritten there. So, yeah, you know, again, not the biggest deal in the world if you've only got this many images, seven, but, uh, yeah, when you have hundreds, <laughs> it's a good thing to do. And uh, keep in mind, too, that uh, if you're not using Cocos 2D, if you're just using um, the regular uh, Xcode name conventions, it's at 2x, all right, but because we're using Cocos, throw in there at dash HD, and uh, when you run your application, it just magically knows to pick out the correct image for that uh, for that device. Okay, so anyway, that's uh, a little digression for this uh, this tutorial. And I hope actually, if you uh, are watching this on YouTube or something like that, you go and you buy the full lesson because we are doing a lot of cool stuff. We've already made an ebook template, and we're working on a wave game template, and uh, for a very affordable amount, we're going to be teaching a lot more as well.